the winemaker. Dukang had been making wine for the last 21 years without a break. He decided to take a break and left home to visit his friends and relatives. After he had left, the empress summoned Dukang to his court to make wine. Since Dukang was not there, they took his 14-year-old son Yuma along. His mother gave him some grapes and grain to take along. She told him that his father used to make wine. They traveled for 5 days till they reached the celestial city of the emperor. Yuma was brought before the emperor, but he ordered the guards to throw him outside the great wall. He wanted the master wine maker, not a child. Who was Yuma? He was all alone in a strange land. He wandered from city to city doing small jobs for people. the forgotten vat after a few months yuma was back outside the celestial city yuma had earned enough to rent a tiny room outside the celestial city he had been carrying the grain that his mother gave him one day he put the grain in a vat and added water then he covered it and forgot about it almost 2 weeks later yuma opened the vat looking for water it had lovely smell and taste He put a little of these on the noodles. It had improved the taste. Yuma's liquid was found to cure even illness. One day the emperor felt dangerously ill. A fish bone was stuck in his throat. Yuma reached the palace and asked the emperor to pour the liquid into his mouth. The fish bone softened and the physician pulled it out easily. The emperor thanked Yuma for his help. Yuma reminded the emperor of his father. The emperor pardoned Yuma and gave his vinegar, the liquid, a special place on his table. The jewel in the rock. Once upon a time, Pien Ho found a piece of rock that contained jade inside. He offered the rock to King Li. The king got it examined and found that it was just a stone. The king thought that Pien Ho tried to deceive him and ordered to cut off his left foot. Meanwhile, King Li passed away. and king wu came to the throne now pian showed his rock to king wu king wu also got it inspected and found it no good now the king ordered that his right foot be cut off pian ho cried and cried till the blood appeared in place of tears the king asked why do you weep so badly pian ho said i lament because a precious jewel is declared to be a mere stone and an honest man is called a deceiver The king next asked the jeweler to cut and polish the rock. He discovered a precious jewel inside it. It was named after Pian Ho. The delighted student. One day, the Zhang Liang, a student, saw an old man sitting on the bridge with one of his shoes on the ground. Politely, he put the shoe on the foot of the old man. Pleased with the boy's gesture, the old man asked him to come to the bridge very early next morning. I will tell you something that affects your whole life. The next morning when the Jiang Liang reached the bridge, the old man was already there, and the Jiang Liang had to listen to a lecture on his lazy habits. The old man asked him to come again the next morning. This time he went at dawn, but still the old man was there and the boy was reprimanded strictly. He was told to come again on the third morning. This time the Jiang Liang went to the bridge right after his supper. When the old man came at dawn, he was delighted to find the Jiang there ahead of time. He gave the Jiang education on values. As a result, the Jiang grew up to be a general. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.